And again, I have nothing prepared. I didn't know I'd be standing up here today. I've never done anything like this before. I'm not an activist. But the one thing that I can see is that we, if we haven't already lost our country, this convention of states is our best and last chance to take it back. A little over 250 years ago, we had 13 states that stood up to an oppressive government. And they made decisions that cost them bloodshed and a lot of loss to take that back. And they spent a lot of time in deliberation. Fortunately, they gave us this Article 5 so that we don't have to expend bloodshed, even though the other side seems to want to do it that way. We've got a government now that brought 20,000 National Guardsmen in for a presidential inauguration. And I don't know if it's to protect themselves or just to make a statement to us that we are now in control and you guys do what we tell you to do. We're a state. We are, this country was founded as a republic of states and the rights were given to the states and only those reserved in the constitution for the federal government. The federal government has taken, taken those whatever has been given to them and grossly usurped everything about it. They now own us. And if you want to, if you oppose this, I just have to ask you why, what is it you're afraid of? So I just want to ask you to support Montana joining the convention of states. Thank you for your time. I'm here live in Philadelphia at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. When you hear the phrase, lives, fortunes, and sacred honor, these are the folks we should think of, those who anonymously gave their lives. Well, today you have a chance to volunteer. You need to volunteer for conventionofstates.com, the movement that's going to save the country. These folks are willing to step up and give everything. We need you to give just a little bit. Go to conventionofstates.com and volunteer today.